Hello, my name is Fiona Walsh of Imagine Coaching. This month's topic is on rehearsing ready to present your PowerPoint presentation. So what we're going to have a look at today is a function called rehearse timings. I'm going to go to the slideshow tab here, click on that and underneath we have a button called rehearse timings. So I'm going to hit that straight away and I'm going to tell you a little bit about it whilst it's playing. So what this functionality does is it allows you to Go through your slides. So as you can see now, I'm in uh, presentation mode and in the top left hand corner here, I have a little overview of what's happening with my slides. So it's telling me how long I've been on each slide. So now if I uh, click, I'm going to go to the next slide and you'll see the timer here has gone back to zero. So what this is doing is it's recording how much time I spend on each slide. OK, so. <clears throat> What this means is that um, the, at the end of the presentation, you will have a total time that you've spent on the whole presentation, but you'll also have an overview of how much time you spent on each individual slide. So if you have gone over on the allocated time that you have for your presentation, let's say you've got 10 minutes and you've gone 12 minutes. If you have a look at this, I'm just going to go to the next slide first so, so I can show you um, the demonstration at the end. If we've gone over on that, it'll show us maybe the, it might highlight a slide where we've spent too long and we can maybe cut down what we're going to say on that slide. Or the reverse of that, if we're trying to fill, say, 10 minutes and we haven't, we might see a slide where we really haven't said much and we might want to add more to that particular slide. So I am going to stop this now. I'm going to click on a tiny little X to stop it and it's going to ask me, do I want to save the new slide timings? So I'm going to click yes, come out of that. And now what I want to do is I want to go to the view tab and I want to hit, uh, sorry, go to slide sorter here. So what I can see now, I'm going to zoom this in a little bit. So this is the overview of all my slides and you'll see here we've got a time for each of those slides. So that's showing me the amount of time that I spent on each slide. So as I mentioned, I would be able to see perhaps some slides I'm spending too much time on. OK, now there is one thing you need to be aware of. These slides now are set up to automatically transition to the next slide because we've decided to keep the timings. OK, so now I'm going to go to transitions. And you'll see for the slide that I'm on here, I've got on my mouse click, so it'll transition on a mouse click, i.e. go to the next slide or it'll do it after 20 three seconds. So if I take off the act after, so if I highlight that so that it's not activated and apply to all, you'll see now those times have disappeared. So I'm in control and when I click on the mouse or click with my uh, wireless presenter, it's going to go to the next slide. So that's how to do it. Just A, set the overview and then to remove them from those slides. So I hope you found that useful. Uh, let me know how you get on with the next uh, time you're presenting for your next presentation. If you're watching this on LinkedIn, please do connect with me. And if you're watching it on YouTube, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.